Oh, that was the biggest tease existent. I was sitting here waiting for the demo to start, and all of a sudden this popped up. What the fuck, Ubisoft? What's going on ladies and gents, Dangerous here, bringing you guys today some more Rainbow Six Siege gameplay. Well, not gameplay, I guess more of a reveal as we can see what's going on here. So, with all the hype that's going in the video game universe, if you're a Battlefield fan and a Rainbow Six fan, the past two days are an absolute freak show. And this right now is happening live on Twitch. In 10 seconds, we're about to see some new gameplay of Valkyrie and Blackbeard, so I'm going to sit here and talk about the gameplay. Uh, hopefully they'll release a trailer later so I can break it down talk about it and see what we get, but let's watch here. This is the trailer we've already seen. So I guess we can talk, uh, it's okay if I talk over it, but, uh, oh, let me unmute it first. There we go. So, you see his shield there, we see the cameras, we've already seen this trailer. It didn't show too much. Now, there was the shield that... Uh, we can now see that he actually uh, deploys on his gun to school. Okay, never mind. She's really gonna talk now to instead. To here today to present you our latest operation, our latest content update, uh, Operation Dustline. In about three minutes, we're gonna be having a live demo pl played for you. Uh, that is gonna be played by some special guests that we brought for you here today. And then we will have an in-depth discussion panel for about 15 minutes. And then we will have, of course, the finals for the Pro League. So we got like 15 minutes of in-depth discussion, that's so pretty good. So let's talk a little bit about Operation Dustline before we get started. As you all know, in year one, we have content drops every time. So we come out with one free new map for every season, as well as two operators, new content and improvements upon the game. And this time with Operation Dustline, of course, we're doing that. So let's talk about it a little bit. Uh, for a second season, we are glad to bring you into a new location. We're bringing you to the Middle East. You will okay, be border. taken That's sick into as the fuck. new map, Border Control. That is going to be much more dynamic than what we've ever seen before in Rainbow This definitely State. looks interesting. All around the map, there's going to be a large uh, catwalk that players are going to be able to use to flank and reposition themselves. It's also got vertical uh, rappel indoors for vertical firefights. And it's the most destructible map that we've ever had in Rainbow Six, according Holy to its size. Holy shit! Now let's talk about the operators a little bit. We have two new operators. They are the Navy SEALs from the U.S. We have oh, those Valkyrie those symbols are Blackbeard. sick. I'm just saying that right now. Let's These guys are badass. With Valkyrie, which is my personal favorite. She's bringing into the battlefield four uh deployable sticky cameras that are okay so she has four cameras she does get the mpx she does get the spaz and she only gets the deagle she gets a nitro cell deployable and shield side, and as normal dlc Blackbeard. she is medium build he's coming with his armored rifle shield he's basically a versatile oh so you can't put an optic on it i was gonna say you couldn't put oh he gets the mark 11 too really he gets the deagle she charged the stun grenades and he is medium I okay wait to see that in i like it okay so this is the important part i guess it's finally coming up here. We're actually going to see the gameplay of Blackbeard and Valkyrie they've all been waiting for. My biggest fear is Blackbeard's shield is um is just going to be very overpowered and protect him from those headshots. I'm I hopefully the rest of his body is exposed and since he's a medium build, it won't be too bad. Hopefully, maybe that shield is destroyable after uh, a lot of volley of rounds hit it. And also on top of that, I don't want an super, another super 90 from Valkyrie. That would just be the end of the world. <laughs> So we've got Montonia, got a doc. Who am I? And now ESL's gonna get a copyright strike. Click as much as you can. Guys. Okay, there's Blackbeard. Okay, so someone for the that was interesting. Okay, so this is the new map too. This is Border, which is really cool. Okay. Hopefully they can get some good camera angles. Maybe they'll just... Okay, so the Mark 17 CQB is the Scar H. It looks like that 21 rounds, which is good. Obviously, the 7.62 cartridges have always been... Uh, uh, how do we say? 7.62 round is always hit heavier in video games. 
So this seems like it's good. Bomb locations, I don't know. I haven't played this map, obviously. It's the first time I'm seeing it, too, in actual gameplay. I want to see how the D-50 or the Desert Eagle, so it does fire that uh, 50 Action Express, I believe it's called, or some sort of round. You guys will correct in the comment section anyways. So there's the rifle shield. It is an attachable ability. Now, the thing I'm most interested in is, it, oh, so you can put an optic on the scar. Okay. So I was thinking because he puts the shield on top of the gun that you couldn't put an optic on the gun and that was and that was some sort of balance line to it. So I want to see what happens when he puts on the shield if it's reusable if it gets destroyed after a bit. I don't know. We're about to see, which is kind of cool as fuck. We're getting some. Ooh, was that no recoil? Was that recoil, gentlemen? Okay, this is on PC, so the accuracy might be a lot better than we we normally expect. Oh, there's the shield. So you can ADS with the shield! Oh my god, this is overpowered! <laughs> That's broken! That's broken! That's broken! What? <laughs> if he's peeking windows like that, and you have nothing but your head exposed, yeah, that's broken. Like, the only thing on top of it, he's just in the frags. Like, oh my- That's a fast reload. Dude, Blackbeard's amazing! Oh my god! Okay, you could just take it off. Okay, so that shield has to be breakable. Like, after a certain volley of round, that shield must just be broken. That's insane. If you can peek windows like that, you can you can come down from the top and protect your... That's, that's fucking... This guy's amazing for windows. This guy is actually very powerful. So he'll be very strong on the hair... Um, the British best is the Hereford base. Excuse me if I pronounced that wrong. But he's going to be amazing because there's a shit ton of windows on the upper levels and he can easily sustain enough fire. Damn, that is that's fucking cool. That's fucking cool. I like it. I like it. Does he walk so can you sprint with it? Like, is there some sort of negative benefit to this? I mean, it's got some cool outlines on it too. Is he, like, that's really cool looking. What the hell? Like, it kind of lights up and shit. Does he run slower with it when it's on? It looks like he I don't know. There's no comparison. I couldn't really tell too much. We'll check that in a second. Okay, checking for those frost traps. Good shit, good shit. I rate it. Oh, that's a guy right there. Okay, there's the... Oh, is that someone? Look, there was someone attached to the gun. There's someone hanging off the scar. Look, you can see a little bobblehead. Is that IQ? Like, ball... There's like an IQ bobblehead off the side of the gun. That's cool as hell. That's cool as shit. I like it. Okay. Fuck, I want to see Valkyrie. <laughs> Do they have a Valkyrie? No, the enemy team doesn't have Valkyrie. That's why we're watching Blackbeard. Uh, I'm pretty sure B is clear. I don't have a drone. Can you cover me? Okay, he's peeking. Can you come that okay? The shield, obviously, it's only it seems to be very, very powerful for windows. And when you're crouching behind cover like that, oh, 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 yeah, insanely powerful when you're crouching behind cover. But you can shoot through cover like that. See, he's trying to headshot him. But I don't, I, we can't honestly see from the other perspective, so unless there is a bug like where it has with uh, Blitz. Dude, that's fucking broken. That's broken! <laughs> Holy shit! Dude, if you're crouched behind cover like that, it's over. Dude, the game of headshots is fucking over. <laughs> Holy shit! Dude, the, no way. Okay, so let's see. I think, I think uh, Serenity, I believe, Serenity, I believe that's how you say his name. Serenity 17 is about to go. So the enemy team has a Blackbeard. So, There's Valkyrie. Uh, Here comes the hype. Android game designer on the game. Uh, I'm Jen, as you know, the product manager, and we really want okay, to Okay, so it looks like we got another fact, person coming in here. That was yeah. standing out from the game is the utilization of Blackbeard. Yeah, we saw we saw Serenity playing Blackbeard, and we saw him, uh, you know, de deploy his shield and uh, sometimes uh, remove it, and it's a very important feature, in fact, because it changes the way you, you the speed of your. Uh, Okay, so when you're more you know, in rushing phases, you need to remove your shield so you gain speed. So it's not gotcha. always like uh, having uh, always the shield. So it's very interesting to see Serenity play uh, okay. back and forth with this. Uh, okay, right, so if you oh, cool. so this is the MPX. I'm hyped for the MPX. That's hype as fuck. I love MPXs. That's like my favorite PDW. Just when I think about it. It, it, it's cool as fuck. So if you guys didn't hear that, Blackbeard's shield actually does hinder his speed. So hindering. Oh. I don't know what the fuck that was. <laughs> so, um, Blackbeard's shield does slow him down when he puts it on, so I guess that makes him go from... So I guess that just lowers his speed, it obviously doesn't increase his armor, we wouldn't want that. So that's really good, that is technically a, a, a nerf to him, but once again, if you're in a firefight and you're crouched behind something that's bulletproof like that desk was, or the enemy person is just not 
putting two and two together to l or shoot you know through something that is destructible like that there, there there isn't much room for for work there okay so we see valkyrie so it seems that valkyrie can go through her sh uh, her cameras which is good obviously that's a given now i want to know if the other defenders can because that would really make or break valkyrie in the long run if only valkyrie could access those cameras um, that might put her at not as a, say, as a powerful operator as we thought, just because, obviously, the fact that, yeah, if Valkyrie can't share her cameras and she's dead, well, sucks to be you, or she doesn't have a camera in the game, I don't know what that, oh, that's an interesting tactic. That was sick as fuck. <laughs> that was sick as fuck. <laughs> oh, shit. There seems to be a lot of people that are picking recruit for some reason. I guess it must be a bug in the game or some sort of weird lag that as you saw they were having. No one in the alley. Okay. So once again, I don't know if we'll be able to check if other people can use Valkyrie's cameras. I, I, w I wouldn't, I wouldn't hold like it would seem lo logical that friendlies of Valkyrie can use her cameras, but yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Where we haven't seen it yet, so I can't say like, oh my god, it's confirmed, but it would be kind of weird if they did it. Dude, that MPX is so sick. Oh my god, that MPX is fucking sick. Dude, Blackbeard and Valkyrie are fucking insane. What Serenity did there with that fuck? <laughs> okay, okay. So the MPX doesn't seem to have as high a rate of fire as it has in other first-person shooters, like Battlefield Hardline and Battlefield 4 that we've seen it in. Uh, has, I don't know if the MPX has been actually in other video games. It, oh, there's the Deagle. Is he going for the Juan Deag? Go for the Juan Deag. Go for the Juan Deag. Juan Deag it. Juan Deag it. Fucking Juan Deag it. What a bitch. He didn't Juan Deag it. <laughs> okay, so he threw a flash. This guy's gonna eventually peek. Oh. He's lit. He's right Nice. Nice. That's cool as fuck. That's cool as shit. I like it. That MPX looks really solid. I want to see the spaz in action. I want to know if the spaz is as broken. I don't think Ubisoft would do that. They seem to be. They really seem to care about Rainbow Six, where they don't want it to be. Oh, and I'll let them dev talk. Team right now with uh, Serenity. They are taking the lead 2-0. Leroy, uh, what was the highlight of the match for you? I think that the play at the end and the cool thing is that I don't know if we saw it, but um, the fact that uh, even if he was, uh, you know, looking f to take down the two uh, the two remaining enemy, the teammate were able to go to his camera, the Valkyrie camera. The cool thing is that everyone can access to the camera, so I think it played a part of uh, of the winning at the end. All right, let's see how it goes into the next round. It is uh, first to three, so it might end there actually. Yeah. So let's head into it. Okay, so as I was saying, I hope um, Valkyrie's shotgun doesn't turn into a Super 90, but I, I don't think Ubisoft would do that because they know what kind of impact it had it on their Pro League, and they seem really to care about Rainbow Six. They seem to put a lot of effort and care into it. I mean, that's a lot more effort and care than it was in the Division, to be honest. That's some cool-ass drone spot right there. This Serenity guys, obviously, I, they did say he's had time to play before. Um, others have, like, I guess he got, like, a YouTuber exclusive or whatnot. So, he seems to know what's up. I didn't see what gun that was. Was that the Mark 11? Oh, that's Jaeger. Okay. We're we gonna watch one of the new operators, because I think that's what we're all here for. I don't... No? Okay, there's Blackbeard. They're... Okay, they weren't spawned in, my bad. So, we're still looking at the Scar H. I want to see how the Mark 11 performs, because that's badass as shit. Um, you know, Blackbeard did have a, a cool variety of guns to get chosen from. Uh, I like the, I guess, overall, a DMR, like the Mark 11, is a cool idea. And with that face shield, you can get in close, which is nice. So you can sit on a window and blast through people. Or you can head peek on, uh, you know, the garden area and house. Or any map, like even on the Hereford base, there's like the, the little, I guess, additional barracks there. That you can get on top and usually glass snipes in. Well, now I guess you can have Blackbeard join them, and with that face shield... He can protect himself further. Now, I don't know because of that face shield if it negates the use of an ACOG. By the original, um, what we saw in the, um, the uh, way earlier in the video, you saw in that little 
uh, breakdown thing there. There was an ACOG symbol on the Scar Age, so maybe he gets it. Maybe maybe he can use ACOGs. Maybe just because this map is so close quarters, you don't want to use an ACOG, which is cool. Don't get me wrong. Uh, is that is that like a new skin for the fuck? Oh, is that a new skin for Ash? Can we can we take a look at Ash there for a sec? That's that's a new skin. That's also a new haircut. That's that's a new haircut. Ash is a blonde there. Did anyone else notice that? So it looks like we are getting different cosmetics for the operators, which is cool as shit. You know, the all... Oh, that team kill, though. <laughs> so, yeah. So, um, yeah. Blackbeard looks fucking awesome. Valkyrie looks fucking awesome. There, there are some things that we have seen. There are some things that we haven't seen yet, because we haven't seen the Mark 11 in action or the Spaz 12. So there's the new, like, custom headgears that we saw. Yeah, see, you can see Ash there. She's got a different haircut on. And Sludge has a different loadout on, too, which is... I don't know if I like what he looks like there. It's kind of weird. I kind of like it. I don't know what I think about that, but yeah. <laughs> We saw the any team make a short call and kicks the devs and the play internal playtests. Okay, so I'm gonna commute that there quickly. I'll fill you in if they say anything important. Something I'm worried about this map though is that it's the destructibility will be too much for the defenders to handle, and so you won't have enough reinforced walls or anything like that to actually defend a location. I hope they've done it right in that point where if you do need to secure an area, you can. But we didn't get to see too much of the defense line uh, for the. Uh, defenders so hopefully it's not too insane for destruction but it's just enough where the attackers can make new pads but the defenders can also set up around there hopefully you know hopefully they got it just right with the destruction split so we want everybody to enjoy it so can't wait to Did she just say new community it. splits uh, but let's talk a little bit I, about the it's, it's okay now. i'll let it slide <laughs> uh, since i have uh, my personal favorite valkyrie i figured we would start with that one i want to see uh, her really shotgun really badly about, like, uh, and speak of the devil behind her yes yeah, it's that the, the, the main idea came from when when the pro league start uh, to be played and we were watching a pro player uh, playing our game and uh, we start to see them uh, to see how they use uh, their drone and actually it was not that much to find and spot the objective but more that's semi-auto uh, that's semi-auto uh, that was semi-auto. Communication, like CCTV, so they can cover. You just threw C4 at nothing, darling. Like and we are like, wow, it's super cool. It's allow player to create their own. Uh, yeah, so the attackers system. placing themselves to set up. Uh, exactly. That spaz was definitely semi-auto. If we give this kind of possibility for the defender, for sure, we have the static camera. But, mm -hmm. As we mentioned. That spaz. Oh, that spaz is so semi-auto. Okay. okay so hopefully like, uh, it's balanced. Camera, you know, we're not going to run into uh, a player, super 90 again. Uh, super All fingers crossed. It didn't look like it, so he's going to go right through the extra cameras are really intense and i like how they don't glow red so you can actually keep them hidden and they don't stick out like a sore thumb i like it it's synergized well with the opponents look how she reloads that thing she's like and um yeah is that thermite? can we talk about that thermite in the game just by introducing something yes yes for sure oh yeah and sometimes you can just uh because this map like there's so much um very very thin walls you know you can just I'm gonna mute the audio for a second once again guys that is not on my end that is on the twitch end all that weird static and sounds like they're running through barbed wire in the game i don't know their microphones are i i don't know i don't even know if i want to unmute it so oh sounds like they just fixed it oh no they didn't fix it and uh and i don't know i'm sorry once again it's not me and uh and yeah i really like the way uh valkyrie yeah i feel that the, the time well, of release really like that yeah see right there you can the see valkyrie like just right, destroys well, blackbeard, blackbeard because of his shield uh, it only def deflects uh, space and everyone's so used to aiming for those headshots now that if you have a shotgun it's simpler because the buckshot will sometimes even hit him in the stomach so center mass with a shotgun a strong counter to, to blackbeard himself now the the thing is that a lot of people are saying is Blackbeard doesn't seem to have too much team like support. I can see where they're coming from. The shield per se isn't like 
the end all of end all of greatest abilities for team play wise like it's a fucking strong ass ability for himself like he can peek a corner there and he can tilt and you could probably only see his face and that shield but you're just shooting at bulletproof so this could be something that counters peeker's advantage very strong though if Velk you know if blackbeard's paying attention he can find or uh, he can find something that he could hide behind and someone might not think to shoot through it or you know immediately but now it was a community rainbow six players you have to realize that some things just can be shot through. So if you saw uh, really a, a desk that he was hiding behind earlier, just shoot through the desk. You can hit his body. Sure, it's not a headshot, like but at least you have a fighting for, uh, chance per se than something, something else. Uh, he's just gonna wreck you. Yeah, so what I mean. Yeah, you have to be really dynamic, and it's the fresh air to the pro league. That's for sure. Because the pro right league there, now, those you know, deployable shields. Out, like, if imagine if Blackbeard could get behind those. Sorry about those microphone again. I don't know why they keep trying to test his microphones. Um, but if they get behind, oh, well, even right there with Montagna, if they can get behind Montagna like that, that could be some insane shieldage. If you get behind a deployable shield, he's practically impenetrable wall unless there's like a little gap for his body. So there's there's some there's some things that that the Blackbeard can do that look that look really awesome. Really new fights, yeah. All right, uh, Justin, did you have any uh, questions uh, from the community about operators? Yeah, absolutely. I, and I see hanging from chat, above with course. that shield uh, is disgusting. Uh, oh my god, yeah. it covers so much range uh, that I, I don't think we're gonna run into the blitz right issue where his ear muss can get shot. Dude, come on, check check for bear traps. What the fuck is wrong with you? So, okay, like, question. with blitz, uh, he can get shot in the ear muss, and you know he can get killed by a headshot. Now with Blackbeard, we don't know if he has that, and just by the sheer whiff and whatnot of that. Of that shield, it doesn't look like he runs in that much of an issue either. So, oh, there's the deagle. I want to see some of that deagle kill though. To give more creativity to land I want the Juan deagle. Really I think it's part of a living game. He's trying to. to... It's going to be available for everyone, and I'm pretty excited to see uh, which so, side. I think that's May 9th for Seasons Pass Black holders. Black what is with that motherfucker's headset? Oh my uh, god. So let's get into uh, the improvements, because I know. Okay, here's the patch notes. Here are the patch notes, boys. Get hyped. There better be some, like, flawless hit detection in this shit. Or else I'm gonna only play Tachanka. Come on, Tachanka buff, Tachanka buff. Explosive heat-seeking rounds, come on. we had one question from the chat that was very accurate. Yeah, this one comes from Twitter, from at PC underscore MRCC. Thank you very much for your question. Uh, he asks, huh. are there any plans to buff the less picked operators? Yes, Tachanka! Montagne, IQ, and Tachanka. And Wait, I'm glad Tachanka, Tachanka, <laughs> Barakam Donks! Exactly Just give us explosive rounds! I'm kidding, don't give us explosive yeah, rounds, but do something awesome. Because we were gonna cover these three, because they're the three biggest changes. They're not just basically rebalancing, they're straight up uh, reworks of operators. Reworks? Hello? <laughs> what? Them a little bit. Yeah, but first of all, uh, IQ, we change the way that his gadget work, and now you will have a better, uh, you know, we change the FX so you will see uh, really well through your gadget, so it will be easier to, you know, to try kill and to start to shoot. And also it will spot... Oh, shit! Gadget. Okay! Show you the shape. Of the gadget. Yeah, as okay, can, shows us the shape of the gadget. That to understand, okay, and to prioritize like, uh, okay, should I shoot this? Uh, oh, I should doesn't care because. It's okay, okay. I, I see, I see the what they're trying here. Such as uh, security cameras or Valkyrie cameras. I don't, I don't know if that's a buff for IQ or not. That is definitely not yeah, that a we direct. Also have a Montagne rework. Okay, Montagne's rework. Getting basically a super shield. He already had a pretty mighty shield. Getting a super uh, shield. Basically, That's extensions yeah. uh, on the sides, which is going to oh, protect uh, his teammates. <laughs> okay. Okay, they completely reworked him. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, that's interesting. He's now a cocoon. <laughs> oh shit, I'm down with that. <laughs> How do you feel about that change on Montagne? Um, well, now he's going to be able to not only like block the door, but actually block the door and then turn a little bit to see what's what's going on like on the left side and on ah. the right side without being punished. You know. Yeah, so he's going to be able to give more information for his team than before. Yeah, Yo, yeah. that's are all about like getting information, and Maltang should be able to like get more information than the other shields, and that's you know what he is able to do now. You think it's going to make people use him more? Um, yes, I don't 
think it's going to be used in the pro league just yet, but I think yeah, there's definitely going to be a lot of people. Yo, that's say yo, mon yo, he needed that buff. He needed yeah, that buff. We have some uh, some shield players out there. Yeah, we saw you. Okay. <laughs> and finally, uh, our third bigger uh, rework of the operators, we have Tachanka. Tachanka. Tachanka, Tachanka, Bakondonks. Come on. Basically, they are two parts of this revamp. They are the first ones that we... 360 rotation. We speed up the animation of uh, deploying... The okay, so he deploys his turret faster. Or, you know, uh, I don't know when you said... Uh, Un undeploying the machine. Yeah. Okay, he picks up his machine. So he deploys so, like, and picks up his, exactly. uh, his turret really quickly. And then you can change position. And also we change the way we uh, it's work with detection. So you're now you will be able to... Uh, 360. Like in corner, closer to wall. Okay. So basically you, you will have... Okay, so uh, what they did uh, is they made it easier so you could place it corner to wall really so you're not out in the corner, open as much. Try to really uh, forbid a line of fire or something like that. Okay. But also this is kind of the first start for Tachanka. Yeah. Right? This is... Okay, so apparently there's more as buffs that Tachanka, uh, Tachanka Bakondo wants coming. On That's sick. And as we mentioned, we want to be reactive and more and more over time, uh, balance operator and add change and stuff like okay. that. Okay. So I, I, I like it. It's a good start. It's a good other, start. Uh, we do have other operator that got some slight balance changes, but okay. those are basically the biggest, three yeah. biggest changes. The others are more. Okay, like so these guys have gotten reworks in the nutshell. Now, IQ's yeah, overall uh, isn't uh, too uh, thrilling. Uh, yeah. For example, to, to be honest, let's, like uh, I do, uh, I mean, yeah, I'd rather if her, I know that mystery. it's outside the realistic uh, spectrum, but uh, I feel that if her gadget highlighted it. things for a brief well, second for our teammates, it, it would be much. better. Or she said like spotted nitro cell or something. Reworked. Oh, uh, so lighting reworks. It's easier to like do transition from outside and exactly. inside. Yeah. Did you notice uh, trying it? that much because I didn't play on um, the graphics I'm used to so Wait. you know but I I'm sure I'm sure I would notice and I think that's hang on I gotta call because, Ryan you know, we're gonna do this right now live really hard to like engage in a fight because you would be so scared of getting into the building because you didn't see anything right and same for outside, we're, we're gonna call Ryan live because this is gonna make him outside, giddy it's a good thing now because Blackbeard is so strong repelling oh my so god defenders have to be oh god have to make sure that it's safe outside to go uh, to counter Blackbeard so yeah that's a Baby, good thing please all right, oh, he needs good. to know this. He's gonna. Also, that is. That, that was one of the biggest complaints. I made a video on that, on how the light transition was too strong. This is amazing. We needed this. Thank you. Oh my God. Uh, cancellation possibility. So now, basically, our players are gonna be able to stop placing a gadget whenever they want to. Okay, so we can active. stop playing. So uh, it's instant it's cancellation for gadget places. Okay, that's sick. As that is necessary. So we pretty much just kind of hindered the bandit glitch a little bit. Well, not too much, but we have some more, some more freedom, if you know what I mean. The rivalry. Yeah, the rivalry we saw on garage. That's yeah, sick. That's amazing. A bunch of battery tricks and. And, uh, so it's, it's you can actually customize your weapons between rounds which is good yeah, so say you're playing I, I, on coast cars as they just said you can put an eo tech <laughs> instead of an acog yeah. like, holy shit fucking needed such a huge quality of life change for, while you're yeah. playing the game and it, it makes it feel that, so that makes it so much easier so now okay. so now instead if you're playing on house you don't have to bring an yeah. acog or if you're not in the mood like, to use an acog or you want to get close and personal you can put on a holographic site and then you stop the search just for that come on dude <laughs> now you can change it. So nice. Yeah. So, so, so that's necessary. Really facilitate uh, queuing up for the next game. Yeah. That's cool. Uh, do you have any questions uh, from the community, Justin? I think you did. Yeah. Uh, so one th one thing about uh, uh, the upcoming ranked, uh, upcoming changes to season two ranked. Uh, this one's from at Ying NYG84. Are ranks going to be reset for season two? The answer is yes. <laughs> they will be reset for season two. That was kind uh, of a given. But we would like you to read the patch note for the full information because actually it's quite a there's quite a few changes no. and uh, I think if we start covering them now uh, we're going to be there for a little while so uh, <laughs> yeah it's impossible to really ca capture everything that we're doing uh, so if you know, they actually so <laughs> ever you know fix some of the hit detection issues is with the game seasonal rank <laughs> is happening seasonal rank and that sounds cool as fuck if they actually manage to patch right? up some of the hit detection in the game I will definitely um, hop on board for playing so more ranked I don't know I've had too many server issues just like with, with hit detection and whatnot, but I haven't button. stood behind rank myself. There are people to play, don't get me wrong, it's still um, great, but also I don't have a team all the time to play with it. So yeah, maybe I'll get into more rank. 
Be, lots of people really didn't like the optics in the game, and now they're fixed, and it feels really like... Okay, so they fixed up some of the optics, which is to work with. good. And basically, to those of you that are on Twitch, um, lots of people, you know, they've been asking me, every time they see a, a stream of me, um, when I get EMP'd with a reflex sight, you know the triangle gets really close? Mm -hmm. That's the size that the reflex has now. So it looks, like, way better, right? Okay, so solid, so they so they've like nerfed some of the glow like on the sights. That's triangle. so I like this. this is really good. I like that this is your pick because it would seem like so small to some people, but it's so like important to others. Yeah, 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 it matters yeah. a lot. I'm excited. I about feel it. that. I feel it. I'm down. <laughs> Better optics. Like intuitive. Oh, good. Some people would literally ask me where do the bullets go, and mm -hmm. I would have to tell them at the tip of the triangle, but a little bit lower. And that's like that's not intuitive. Now it's intuitive. So it's good for newcomers. Wow, so the site sure. didn't even work technically? Right. The fuck? He thought Orbit was gonna take Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and mute it here and wrap up the, the video. Time. Thank you guys so much for coming out and watching the patch notes live as they reveal. So it's not like you guys saw it here. I talked about it. I expressed some of my opinions. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll, uh, yeah, I'm gonna see what I'll do with the video. It's like 42 minutes of footage. I have to edit now. Whoa. But yeah, without further ado, guys, thank you so much. Uh, if there's anything else that pops up, I'll let you know or. Yeah, I'm really getting giddy for this. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And uh, once again, I'm the Dish Moose, and I'll see you next in the next episode. Peace.